Okay, so we've just got off the train. Now we're heading to find our hotel. I've got him with me. Say hello, Pete. Hello. <laughs> just got off the train about 30 to 40 minute train journey. I would have videoed it, but we was in a bit of a rush, so I didn't really get it. I'll try and get it on the way back. Now we're off looking for our hotel. So far, it looks like the weather's spot on. Yeah, I like it. Not too hot, not cold. Like it was in England, it was freezing. But yeah, nice sunny 24 degrees. Just hope we can get in the room. It's only, what time is it, half past 12? Yeah, half past 12, yeah. So hopefully we can get in the room, have a shower, get changed and head out. Because we've got massive plans for this trip. We need to be walking up here, Pete says. We're walking down looking for it signposted, but Pete had a quick look on here. And there it is. Movie home. So, let's go in and have a look. Got no idea how high up it is. Okay, so we've all checked in the room, we're out and about. We're heading to the Pantheon now. And um, the nearest subway station is what, Concord or something like that? Which is about maybe 10 minute walk that way. Um, we got in the room. I might have added it in before this, I might not. We had a little bit of a bother with them, but I'll tell you that story later on. And this is where we are now, in Rome. Have to buy tickets as well. The Concord, uh, we're going to buy a 72 hour ticket. You don't have to queue up behind, you basically come to one of these machines, hit it back to English, 24 hour, 48, 72. So you get a 72 hour ticket, 18 euros, put your money in, and they'll put your change in your ticket, it'll drop down there. If you want to add a ticket, there you go, easy. We think we may have found the Pantheon. We think that's it through there. Both found Pete, famous ice cream there. Oh wow, look at them. So as you can see, we've got to get in a queue, but the queue's moving really quick, right? say that's not what I expected Pete. Yeah I was expecting it to be like a museum or something like that. Yeah like maybe some crypts or but no it's just basically the the first king of Italy's in there and a couple of kings I've never heard of just goes around the bottom floor really doesn't it and that's it. Um, yeah I expected more didn't you I thought yeah, it'd be like, more, like much more. Yeah all oh, right well that's the pantheon done then. 
there's something else on our list to do. We'll have a look in a minute. This is where we are, still in this. There's a lot of little squares, are this in the pea? Just pop up all like areas with a fountain in the middle. <laughs> this is um, around the back of the Pantheon. Looks a lot older around there. Not as many people walk around here. Everyone's around the front area there. Let's see here, it's... Not as modernised around this part. I don't think I've seen this in a shop window anywhere in Scunthorpe. No, definitely not. Okay, so we're just walking around and we've bumped into this massive structure. Which looks epic, that looks amazing, doesn't it? Are we going across to it now, Pete, while we're here? That looks amazing, doesn't it? I think this is on my list to do um, tomorrow or Friday or Thursday, sorry. Today is Tuesday, so... Yeah, we might go do it now. Um, I'll get the proper name when we get near it. I don't want to ruin the name of it. <laughs> right, I have to go take a few pictures. There's Pete taking some. That really does look amazing, that. Absolutely fantastic. You're going to walk up there, Pete? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Right, let's go. That's by far the best thing yet, Pete, isn't it? Yeah. Like what you see. Don't forget we've got much more than this. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow's Coliseum and all that area. And then loads of other stuff. Thursday, the day after, is the Vatican and loads of other stuff. Today's just try and get a few things done what we couldn't really fit into um, Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, wow. Hey, what do you see up here? There's two guards there. Look at that. I did not expect that, did you? Two guards there. Wow. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but there and there is um, flames coming out of that pot. And two guards. What the guard in Pete? Ignoto militia, dead soldiers maybe? Something? We really should know more, shouldn't we? I gotta admit, I did not expect that, did you? Something like that, that's amazing. And of course you've got the view behind us as well. So it looks like there's a little museum bit in there, but... And also, we've not paid a penny for anything yet, have we? Nope. Nothing, all this has been free. The Pantheon, I'm walking into this. Wait till we start paying for food. <laughs> yeah, and obviously we've paid for... Um, what's it called? Coliseum and Vatican tickets in advance, so we don't have to queue. Vatican as well. Yeah, we've paid in advance. <clears throat> We've just come up the steps. This is the view. Oh my God. Look at that, you that's fantastic. Them? Absolutely fantastic. And there's a little chill out area there. Okay, so that's that finish. That was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it, Pete? Yeah. Best thing yet. <laughs> I know we haven't done a lot live, but... Right, we're now going to head to the Spanish Steps in the Hard Rock Cafe. Because we're not going to visit the Trevi Fountain until it's dark. But yeah, got to say, that was absolutely fantastic. Completely free and got amazing views and some amazing monuments. So 
We're just walking along. Between streets you bump into this. Wow. Look at that. Basically we're just walking out there to come out the other side. And you've got this. Stunning. Plaza de Spagna, the Spanish steps are still off. What do you think to it then, Pete Rome? Good. Hey, is it? What did you say it reminded you of? Krakow. Krakow. Uh, those squares, a bit like Warsaw. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of a mix of a few cities, isn't it? You've got all the little side streets, which are like Krakow, then you've got a few main squares, which is like Warsaw, and then you've got the city feel of Paris. And all three of them cities are gorgeous, so yeah, yeah. it's not a bad thing, is it? When you go in the old town, you got more old building. When you go outside, it's more modern. Yeah. Yeah. Makes the yeah, and it's a big thumbs up from me. Beautiful city. Very, very nice to walk the city. You get to see loads of things. Bring on the next few days. See the stairs. Oh no, I can to the right there. You see where the white balls on. Yeah, I bet it's that. That's the Spanish steps. And again, excuse the ignorance, but I'm not really sure why they're so famous. I think it's from a movie, to be honest. It's obviously famous before the movie, but I seem to remember him in a movie, an old film movie. I think Audrey Hepburn was in it. Lots of police about. Yep, yeah, there they are. The Spanish Steps in Rome. Italia. Well, there's not exactly a lot you can do anyway, is there? You can walk up to the top of them. Yeah, let's have a look at this. He's on his way up, middle of the screen. When we go back onto it, you've got to spot him. This is just a little area. The Spanish Step Square, that's what I'm calling it. The little fountain. Right, I can see him. It's not, a, not exactly a hard game, was it? Where is he? Three, two, one. Yep, there he is, middle of the screen. Right, let's go join him up there. So we can get around all these people. Pete. How impressed with them Spanish steps are you? <laughs> it's just some steps, isn't it? I prefer something. To it's a uh, proper toys. The, the best thing is going to be this, the time lapse. You probably can't see it, but yeah. I think I like was the one we saw that Emmanuel something that moment. Oh yeah. This one just looks so I've got to be honest. I've only come here because I know it's off that film. Apart from that, I'm not really sure what the deal with like this is. Steps, just fucking steps. <laughs> yeah. So this is up all the steps. As you can probably tell by my voice. Spanish steps is down there it's starting in the fountain. So that's the Spanish steps done right now, Pete. Hey, Time to buy something. <laughs> Time to buy a Hard Rock Cafe Rome t-shirt. So here we are, Hard Rock Cafe. Rome. So here we are, 
this is the Hard Rock Cafe in Rome. Dean's ordered a smoothie, I've ordered a milkshake, chocolate one. Ceiling. Sat at the bar. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Got some memorabilia there. The shop's behind us. We'll go looking down a bit. So yeah, Hard Rock Cafe in Rome. Not massive, but it's alright, isn't it? No. Yeah, better than the one in Hong Kong. Like yeah, better than the one in Hong Kong. So you got your t-shirt, Pete? Yeah. The Hard Rock Cafe blue one? Yeah. So now we're going to head to the... I can't remember what it's called. It's a little plaza. Yeah, for night time it's meant to be better. And the Trevi Fountain. Yeah, we're trying to get the Trevi Fountain when it's dark. Uh, we're on the way to these because it's a fair 20 minute walk. We might find somewhere to have a little snack in one of these little Italian restaurants somewhere. We've just walked down there and then we walked onto Piazza Navona. This is the area that we was looking for. Apparently it comes alive at night. It's not exactly night time but this is when we've got to it. Another huge fountain there. You can see there's artists out. People selling scarves, selfie sticks. <laughs> Portraits. Oh, I do like my <laughs> 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 So that's this Piazza Nirvana done. Time to go get a pizza or something, Pete? Something to eat, yeah. Something to eat now. We're going to try and find all this round here is going to be too expensive, yeah. And when it gets a bit darker, darker, we'll head to a Trivoli fountain. But at the minute, we're going to try and find a little offbeat, off one of these side streets for something to eat. Something a bit cheaper than paying all this, yeah. Okay, so the Pantheon is just up there. We've walked down on the way to Trevi Fountains. What time is it now? It's 10 to 7. So there's Pete. We're sat outside this cafe. They both just said to each other, I can't remember the last time we sat outside and had a meal. It's, it seems ages, doesn't it? But anyway, I've ordered a pizza with um, mushrooms. What you ordered, Pete? Beef with mushroom and potatoes and vegetables. All right, okay. Well, I didn't think you'd get that. That's all right. That's a Polish thing, isn't it? Potatoes and veg. But yeah, nice relaxing street. You've got plenty of options, but um, my cool, pizza. Well, yeah, pizza was, I think it was only 10 or 12 euros, wasn't it, for yours? 12, mine was only 8. Got drinks for 2 euros, so yeah. And a nice relaxing environment, nice and quiet. I'll see you when the food gets here. What did you order, Pete? Beef? Beef yeah. With potatoes. And vegetables. Oh yeah. And I ordered a pizza and that is huge. Don't think I'll eat all that. I'm not that hungry. Anyway, took in. So fast forward 20 minutes. How many out of 10? 8 out of 10. Nice, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go with an 8 9 out of 10 as well. Very nice. Very nice. First pizza in Italy. That Pete said pasta tomorrow. Some pasta tomorrow. A bolognese, yeah. Oh, lasagna. Yeah, lasagna. Right. Food review, good. So, food done. Now to go look at this Trevi Fountain before we head back to the hotel. Trevi Fountain should be down here. Oh, it's there. Yeah. I think this is the Trevi Fountain. You can see it with us. Good to see a police on guard. Wow, look at all these people. My God. Holy moly. Well, there's the 
gorgeous fountains, but look at all these people. So we're at the Travelly Fountain just going back. We're going to catch the metro back to the hotel. Uh, it's 8 pm, we'll end this vlog off when we get off at the metro station. So busy. So that's day one finished. Um, a lot of travelling, we've been up nearly 18 hours travelling about. Uh, we managed to get a lot done today. Had a good day? Yeah, it's been Once great, hasn't it? Been better because yeah. of the, um, the reason we've gone home a bit early is because we have to be up, we have to be at the Colosseum in the morning for about eight. Well, maybe before that. It opens at half eight. We've got our tickets. It takes but about an hour to get there. Yeah, the queue's massive and it'll take about an hour to get there. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, we're a bit tired because <laughs> we've had a busy day but tomorrow's going to be epic we've got the Colosseum in the morning and then the what is it the Roman Forum Pal yeah, Palantino yeah. yeah and then I've got another few things on the list well, that's coming time, tomorrow yeah. yeah if we get time we know how long it's going to take but yeah it's been a brilliant day thanks a lot for watching everyone and um, I'll see you all tomorrow for day two you all know what to do thank you very much bye bye <laughs> see you later guys see you tomorrow for the Colosseum that way. <laughs>